Welcome back! In this video, we are going to solve a structural design problem that involves a column design using LRFD method based on e-structural design Zen found on the App Store. Design a reinforced concrete rectangular column using load and resistance factor design that carries a biaxial bending load with actual dead load of 1,500 kN and actual live load of 900 kN with moment dead load at x-axis of 150 kN and moment live load at x-axis of 90 kN with moment dead load at y-axis of 75 kN and moment live load at y-axis of 45 kN Design criteria as follows Strength of concrete, 35 MPa, vertical bars, 20 mm bar, grade 414, spiral tie bars, 10 mm bar, grade 414, steel ratio, 2%. Given actual dead load equals 1,500 kN and actual live load equals 900 kN, the factored actual load is 3,240 kN. At x-axis, given moment dead load equals 150 kN and moment live load equals 90 kN, the factored moment is 324 kN with eccentricity equals 100 mm. At y-axis, given moment dead load equals 75 kN and moment live load equals 45 kN, the factored moment is 162 kN with eccentricity equals 50 mm. Enumerate input parameters required. Column name C9, floor designation, footing to second, shape and ties, rectangle, tied, steel covering, 60 mm, unsupported height, 3000 mm, vertical bars, 20 mm bar at grade 414, Steel ratio, 2%, lateral tie bars, 10 mm bar at grade 414, strength of concrete, 35 MPa, factored actual load, 3,240 kN, factored moment and eccentricity at x-axis, 324 kN meter and 100 mm, factored moment and eccentricity at y-axis, 162 kN meter and 50 mm. Given steel ratio equals 2%, assumed column width equals 300 mm and column length equals 700 mm, the area of steel is 4,900 square millimeters and the number of vertical bars for 20 mm bar is 16, with 4 bars along short side and spacing between bars at 76.67 mm for 56.67 mm clear spacing and 6 bars along long side with spacing between bars at 116 mm for 96 mm clear spacing. To get the nominal load at E sub x equals 100 mm, let neutral axis C equals 651.8 mm and height of stress block A equals 521.44 mm. Given column length equals 700 mm and steel covering equals 60 mm. Follow the given computations to get the distances of each bar layer from the edge of column and force type relative to neutral axis. D sub 1 equals 60 mm less than neutral axis compression. D sub 2 equals 176 mm less than neutral axis compression. D sub 3 equals 292 mm less than neutral axis compression. D sub 4 equals 408 mm less than neutral axis compression. D sub 5 equals 524 mm less than neutral axis compression. D sub 6 equals 640 mm less than neutral axis compression. Follow the given computations for stress and force of each bar layer. Stress at D sub 1 equals 414 MPa 
with compressive force equals 520.249 kN. Stress at D sub 2 equals 414 MPa, with compressive force equals 260.124 kN. Stress at D sub 3 equals 331.206 MPa, with compressive force equals 208.103 kN. Stress at D sub 4 equals 224.425 MPa, with compressive force equals 141.011 kN. Stress at D sub 5 equals 117.643 MPa, with compressive force equals 73.917 kN. Stress at D sub 6 equals 10.862 MPa, with compressive force equals 13.65 kN. Given FC prime equals 35 MPa, height of stress block equals 521.44 mm, and column width equals 350 mm, the force of compression block is 5,429.494 kN. By summing up all the forces, the nominal axial load is 6,646.548 kN. Follow the given computations for a final check of eccentricity at x-axis of 100 mm. To get the nominal load at E sub y equals 50 mm, let neutral axis C equals 320.2 mm and height of stress block A equals 256.16 mm. Given column width equals 350 mm and steel covering equals 60 mm, follow the given computations to get the distances of each bar layer from the edge of column and force type relative to neutral axis. D sub 1 equals 60 mm less than neutral axis compression. D sub 2 equals 136.67 mm less than neutral axis compression. D sub 3 equals 213.33 mm less than neutral axis compression. D sub 4 equals 290 mm less than neutral axis compression. Follow the given computations for stress and force of each bar layer. Stress at D sub 1 equals 414 MPa with compressive force equals 780.373 kN. Stress at D sub 2 equals 343.904 MPa with compressive force equals 216.082 kN. Stress at D sub 3 equals 200.256 MPa with compressive force equals 125.825 kN. Stress at D sub 4 equals 56.59 MPa with compressive force equals 106.67 kN. Given FC prime equals 35 MPa, height of stress block equals 256.16 mm and column length equals 700 mm, the force of compression block is 5,334.532 kN. By summing up all the forces, the nominal axial load is 6,563.482 kN. Follow the given computations for a final check of eccentricity at y-axis of 50 mm. The nominal axial load at E equals 0 is 9,369.746 kN. By using reciprocal load method, the nominal axial load is 5,099.811 kN. Check for adequacy. The nominal design load of 4,984.615 kN is less than 5,099.811 kN actual load capacity. Follow the given computations for lateral ties. Design recommendation as follows. FC prime equals 35 MPa, FY equals 414 MPa, Column size is 350 mm by 700 mm by 3000 mm. Vertical bars of grade 414, 16 pieces 20 mm bar. Lateral ties of grade 414, 10 mm bar, 4 sets spacing, 5 at 100 mm, 
4 at 150mm, rest at 250mm. Thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel.